times that we cannot just maintain our peace with everyone. Sometimes we burst out our real emotions and thoughts affecting our actions. Do you know what happens? Yes, we all know what happens. Conflict and soup. Correct. Now it is up to us to make you find out what it really is. This, this is Understanding, understanding Conflicts with Yums 11-1. It is true that the harder the conflict, the greater the triumph. Now, your conflict is to be able to understand what conflict really is. Now, here are the lessons of checkmates. Lessons aims to appreciate that conflicts are essential to our daily lives. Also aims to understand the conflict and how it affects people. Also aims to develop positive traits and actions towards conflicts. And lastly, it aims to give you advices on how you can handle your own conflict. Now, how do we really define conflict? It is a dynamics when there is a perceiving of parties as threats. It is the incompatibility of actions or goals between people. And it is the lack of recognition of our values. Basically, it is a misunderstanding between parties supporting their own insights and are being too protective of it. But, when conflict is understood, it can and imbalances. It can stimulate growth and development. And it can improve relationships. Conflicts even have their own cycle, but before knowing that, it is important that we know its real nature. Conflict causes pain and negativity. Reasoning oftentimes is clouded or unclear, and miscommunication happens due to emotional outbursts. Now this, this is the cycle of retaliation. Retaliation basically means revenge. We first perceive someone as a threat, Go straight with their anger in actions, and this repeats over and over again with the other party. <laughs> Conflicts are started by triggering events. And when we say triggering event, this is when a party perceives the side of another party as a threat. But all of these can stop with the intervention of a third party. Also, this is when the two conflicting parties calmly seek solution for their crisis. There are also stages of conflict. The main component being the people. Without the people, there are no conflicts around. Well, the first stage, the intrapersonal. This happens within oneself. The second stage of conflict being the interpersonal. This happens between two individuals. This is the most common stage of conflict. The third, the intergroup. The conflict ensues between people in the same group. And lastly, the intergroup. Conflict happens between different groups or teams. When people are faced with conflict situations, they oftentimes have different responses, but there are two major responses. They either fight or fly. We choose to do flight, we either avoid, ignore, or deny. So we have here the fight or the flight. So what are the differences between the three types of flight? First, avoidance. Avoidance is when we try to dodge the uneasiness caused by the person we are in a conflict with. Second, ignoring. Ignoring is when conflicting people are in the same place but choose to disregard each other's presence. And the third one, denying. Denying is when someone asks if you are in a conflict with someone but you refute their question and observation. After knowing the different responses to conflict, now we will show you four strategies on how you can actually face conflicts.
First, you fight. You force the other party to accept a stand against yours. Second, you submit. You yield to the demand of the other party to finally end the conflict. Third, you flee. Keep the situations or change the topic. And fourth, you freeze. Do nothing and wait for the party's next move. So, what really creates conflict? First, competition for scarce or limited resources causes conflict. Keyword, competition. Second, disagreement over the interpretation of information. Different point of views about a certain fact. Third one, perceiving threats to one's own needs and interests. Perceiving unjust treatment caused by another party. Miscommunication between parties. Misjudgment of another party's beliefs out of prejudice or bias. And showing behaviors which are destructive to someone's reputation. Misjudgment, miscommunication, and misunderstanding. All of these correspond to one result, and that is... Conflict. So now, we will talk about the causes of conflicts. This may be the same as to what was discussed earlier, but this is more defined. According to Christopher W. Moore in his book, The Mediation Process, Practical Ways for Resolving Conflict, there are five causes of conflicts. Relationship, data, interest, structure, and values. Relationship. Conflict ensues when there is an imbalance in providing the needs or interests of the other party. This occurs mainly within relatives, classmates, or co-workers. Data. Conflict ensues when there is a misinterpretation of data or information that may be questionable. This is the most common type of cause of conflict. Interests. Are mostly driven by needs. When needs are not met, conflict ensues. Definitely. Structural causes of conflict involves human organizations, social structures, or processes. This mainly involves the society. And lastly, values. Conflict ensues when prioritization of these values varies from one party to another. This may be with the influence of culture. So now, we proceed to the costs of conflict. First, a pestering conflict may put one's health and well-being in jeopardy. Conflict may also decrease one's self-confidence and question one's worth. This cost is more of an interpersonal cost. Secondly, when a nation is under a conflict, the consequences are definitely higher. The effects in economic spending, poverty battle, and productivity are relevant. This is more societal and more national in nature. When we talk about conflicts, we always think about one thing, one word that appears in our mind, but, but do you know that there are positive sides of conflict? Conflicts allow issues to be known and can raise awareness for needs. Conflicts allow emotions to be expressed and can help deeply understand differences. Lastly, conflicts help strengthen empowerment and communication, leading to the foundation of common goals. Now, we focus on the conflict management styles. Do you know who these are? These are Dr. Ken Thomas and Dr. Ralph Kilman. They are management professors from the University of Pittsburgh and developed the known Thomas Kilman Conflict Mode Instrument. Now, what is this instrument? We focus on two determinants of this model and these are assertiveness, the extent to which an individual tries to satisfy him or herself, and cooperativeness, the extent to which an individual tries to satisfy another person's needs. And under these two are competing, accommodating, compromising, avoiding, and collaborating. Now, let's look at this chart. Assertiveness on the y-axis and cooperativeness on the x-axis. Avoiding has the lowest assertiveness and cooperativeness, whilst collaborating has the highest of the two determinants. Competing has high assertiveness but low cooperativeness, the complete opposite of accommodating, which has high cooperativeness and low assertiveness. And lastly, compromising, 
which has the equal amount of the two determinants. We told you earlier that we will be giving you practical advices about handling your conflicts, right? Now, we've reached that time already. Ask this question to yourself. What do you need to do to understand and to do what conflicts is an adolescent? Handling your conflicts. We have provided six steps for you. The first one, understand the nature of your conflict. This is the most basic step of this management. Second, pay attention to your feelings and emotions. This is utterly important. Third, check the relationship with whom you have a conflict with. Fourth, clarify your real intentions. Fifth, preserve the relationship through communication. And sixth, after the dialogue or communication, do a reconciliatory act. It is true that conflicts are really hard to resolve and finish. But with just a little bit of understanding and cooperation, we can end conflicts beautifully. Remember, conflict is inevitable, but, but combat is optional. Finally, conflict is now understood.